Okay, we. And today we are going to be playing some three on three freestyle. The title of the video is not misleading. It is Kaylee gets dunked on. I hope you guys are excited. I knew it. I knew it. Come on, Lee. So, Kaylee, how's your day been so far? It's been good. I uh, found out that one class that I thought I would have Tuesday and Thursdays. He actually has another class that merged with the remote one. So I don't have to show up for that. Oh, ball. Yeah, but he records them and uploads it so I can watch it anytime. Ooh. Yeah. That's even more convenient. <laughs> How was your day? Oh, I'm fantastic as always. Thank you for asking. Uh, I'm getting really hype about like automation and learning how to like automate processes and stuff. Uh, Dragon Ball Super Fan 10 said I literally just got done playing that game. Ooh, interesting. Let us know if you ever want to catch these hands from either of us, Dragon Ball Super Fan 10. <laughs> oh, okay. I see you, Kalulu. You're ready. See, Kaylee's unlocked uh, the tall nigga meta, where she just plays as the tall nigga. Y'all ready for this? Okay. I'm watching. You see that steel? Oh. Who's in your face? Who's in your face? Titties in the face. Oh, 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 oh no! I don't know how I get stuck when I don't press square. It throws me off every time. It's happened to John Mason and I, too. Uh, I'm not sure what caused that. Ah! <laughs> I'm not sure what caused that. Um, I always just assume that even if I think I didn't hit square, I probably was like fucking around with the controls and just accidentally hit square. Uh Y'all ready? Yeah. Gotta talk to my coach real quick. Oh, is that Mohawk dude just consistently in the same <laughs> position? From outside. There we go. Oh no. Lee's doing bad. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? I believe in you, Lee. Dragon Ball Superfan 10 said, uh, how's your day go? I'm fantastic always, thank you for asking. How's your day today, my dude? Ooh. 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 No, no. The way he starts up when he's, like, getting ready to run <laughs> is very interesting. Right through. Keep it moving. Uh, JV Dones said, I don't like Katie. JV Dones is dozer. He's just fucking around. Yeah, he <laughs> yeah. Does, yeah. Welcome to the stream. It's good to have you. How's your day today? Do you have any questions for your boy? Day and discussion topics that you like to talk about on the stream. So there you go, Emily. You get it. Uh, Dragon Ball Super Fan 10 said, His day was okay. What do you think would have made your day even better, Dragon Ball Super Fan 10? They leaving it. Oh, big <laughs> Here comes the juice. I like real. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, have you done any of the little tutorial things that they have uh, when you talk to the rabbit guy? Uh, Ooh. no. Um, he has one tutorial that I remember doing a shit ton of, because for some reason the game never says that I finished it. Uh, but it's a tutorial about, like, rebounds. There's a thing that you can do where if the ball bounces off the rim and you're standing in the right position, you can catch it and try to shoot it at like the exact same time. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's see what I can do. <laughs> I see what you're talking about when he starts to run. Like it takes a lot out of him. Ooh! Aw, oh, shit. Ooh! Aw. Oh. oh, crap. Go for it. Oh, Nice. 
Uh, Dragon Ball Superfan Tim said, if I could go outside and play basketball, uh, that would have made my day better. So you're like, I had a simulated good day. You're like, I wish I had an actual good day. I mean, I feel like, hmm. I wonder what's a good middle ground between playing a basketball video game and going outside and playing basketball. Would it be like playing a VR basketball video game? Ooh, interesting. Oh, speaking of David, he let me try his uh, Oculus. And oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's pretty How cool. It? it made me want to get one. Ooh. Uh, what'd you play? Played, uh, played Beat Saber. We also played this bomb diffusing game that was a lot of fun. Ooh, is it one of those bomb diffusing games where one person is like in VR trying to diffuse it, but the other person is like trying to give them instructions from outside of the game? Yeah. Hey, I've seen stuff like that before, but I've never played stuff like that before. Which was your favorite out of the set? I really like the bomb one. I liked being the person uh, with the bomb, being told like what to do. Kill you on the bombs, squad. <laughs> uh, Isaiah said, "Back at it again." Yo, Isaiah, welcome Isaiah! to the show. It's good to have you. How's your day today? Do you have any questions for your boy? Do you have any discussion topics you like to talk about on the stream? Uh, Dragon Ball Super Fan Ten said, "Nah, I am around." He's like, the only difficulty level I play in this real life. Let's see. So I think I kind of know what Kaylee's trying to do from a defensive <laughs> point, and I think I know how to go. Oh no! Y'all ready for this? No! <laughs> um, Isaiah said, uh, I slipped mopping today, so it's been a fun day. I'm sorry to hear that, my dude. Ooh, are you okay? Pushing right through. He's flashing some nice moves. Let's see, Dragon oh Ball God. Superfan 10 said, uh, have you seen the Cyberpunk Apology? Go! I did! I think it's like a day old, but I didn't see it until Ooh. today. Um, it's whatever, I'll talk, uh, show me some, like, real shit, and maybe people will forgive them. They still fucked up pretty hard. Um, I don't see how you could, like, see No Man's Sky, like, fuck around, and do, like, some worse shit than that. Uh, oh, but they cool. did, I think. Well, I don't know about that, because I feel like for No Man's Sky, people were like, it's straight yeah, up just not what they promised. Right for Cyberpunk 2077, it's not that it's like, not what they promised. It's like, exactly what they promised, but it doesn't work. So it's still kind of not what they promised. Like, it's weird, because for people who have like, really good setups, or people playing on Stadia, I heard that the Stadia, also a good shot. The people who play on Stadia claim that they actually are able to, like, do Shit. Cyberpunk really well. Which makes a lot of sense, to be honest. Uh, just based on how Stadia works. Long story short, it's an interesting situation. Um, let's see if they actually do what they say they're gonna do. Regardless, they fucked up. Um, have you seen the Cyberpunk apology to Layla Uh, apology? Uh, yeah, so the Cyberpunk 2077 developers, uh, if you had gotten that, that would have been really interesting. Because it seemed like you, like, laid it up after it bounced off the rim. Also, hashtag GG, hashtag good game, hashtag handshake. Um, so, the Cyberpunk, uh, developers did a video, well, specifically the lead of the team, not, like, a straight-up developer. Did a, oh! Was the highlight you blocking? No, the highlight was me shooting. Okay, I wasn't sure at first. Um... He was like, hey, blah, 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 we're sorry. Here's our timeline of like patch fixes and when like the DLC is gonna come out and all this other stuff. Um, for me, I, I don't care too much about stuff like that unless they actually make the changes. 
Uh, speaking of making changes, before I get start, do you want to continue as Lee as your starter? Yeah. Well, let's hop right in. Um, Isaiah said, uh, I wasn't in pain, it was just the fact that I slipped. That's interesting, because that sounds like you're like, I didn't get physically hurt, but my pride is like all fucked up. <laughs> it's okay, Aww. my dude, everybody slips. Uh, I once jumped onto a sidewalk while imitating <laughs> Dozer. Uh, and I yelled something like, totally homosexual, because uh, <laughs> Dozer had yelled, like, totally gay, and, like, jumped onto the sidewalk. And then I, like, not only slipped on the sidewalk, I also fell, like, on my laptop and broke it and had oh. to buy, like, a new laptop. That wasn't the funny part. Ooh. Oh, nice. As long as I jump, I'm tall too. <laughs> uh, Luna said, Nick, would Jet date a Craxel? Uh -huh, like, a what? A uh, Craxel is like a dragon like oh. fantasy <laughs> creature. Um, he's referring to Jet Starlight. Jet Starlight has his one and only Xena. Uh, if it's not Xena, he has one. Um, speaking of like female characters that Jet Starlight would fuck with, Yo, I'll be honest. There was a character that was introduced in the non-canon where they were like, it's your long forgotten lover who's actually like an assassin. The description for her, she was a baddie. But I do, I'm sorry. I, like, I was like, Jet Starlight is dedicated to Xena. He would never. At the same time, I was like, ooh, but this design is, I, I like the description. That was good as fuck. When you wish AI Dungeon 2 had graphics though. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what her name was. It was Cruel, was her name. Like, just the word Cruel. She was cool. Uh, they some cool fan art. Uh, I'd fuck with that. Uh, Isaiah said, uh, in the dumbest way, referring to how he slipped while mopping. It's okay, my dude. You know, well, that's why wet floor signs are that mopping is dangerous. For really everybody. Uh, Isaiah said, bruh, that's actually tough. Ooh, it said some air. I'm not sure if I've heard it say that before. Um, Isaiah said I would cry in a corner. Um, it wasn't too bad. I just ended up buying another one. To be honest, that's not the first time I'd lost a laptop to somebody falling. On. It was just the first time I'd lost a laptop to me falling. On. In college, um, I was hanging out with like a group of guys. Uh, and my friend Will stood up off the couch, and then he just fucking fell back on, like, a wood table we had, and he just annihilated, like, a fucking Chromebook I had. And he was like, yeah, I don't know what happened. Maybe I got up too fast or something? Uh, I, I don't know, but he, my laptop ate shit. I was gonna buy, like, a new one, and then my dad was like... No, I'll just get you one. Uh, when I fell yelling totally homosexual or whatever, though, I, d I definitely bought that laptop. I'm not sure if I talked to my dad about it, though. Like, I'm not even sure if I, like, tried to ask for a new laptop. I was just like, I, I can do it. I'll just get another one. Oh, shit, I got two seconds. Ah, oh, fuck. That would have been interesting. Y'all better speed things up. We're coming up on the buzzer right now. Let's see. Blinking, you might miss Ooh. this one. Almost out ah. of time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That D's looking a bit ragged right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, let's see. Uh, Luna said, "Say you are a dumbass bitch in a an armadillo's voice." You act as if I know how to do fucking Armadrillo's voice. Look at very specific requests. Okay, what does Armadrillo sound like? Uh, Armadrillo! So they'd be like, you're a dumbass bitch! <laughs> I guess would be how he'd say it. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know if that was accurate. <laughs> Uh, Isaiah said, we playing Brawlhalla tonight? To yes, we are. Uh, so Isaiah, we're scheduled to play Brawlhalla tonight at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Oh, she's sticking with Lee. 
My boy Lee. Lee has a pretty casual fit on, but my nigga's wearing a long sleeve shirt where he's got the sleeves. <laughs> They're not rolled up even. He's just, why would you wear something that's like made to keep you like warm and shit while playing basketball, Lee? And then you got it like unbuttoned with the V-neck open because you know you're <laughs> hot hey, and shit. Hey, quit roasting me. I'm just analyzing the fit. I don't know. <laughs> Luna said, also, why is NRG Russian? Uh, the roast me coach. So I think NRG is Russian uh, because he's like a nuclear energy monster. So it may be like a commentary thing on like the Cold War or something. I, I don't know. Uh, Ben's aliens do have like weird accents and stuff. Uh, like Raph is straight up like a pro wrestler. So he's like... You're gonna come and tell Brad that he can't stop Armadillo from sucking Grandpa Max's dick? Nobody tells Brad what he can and can't do. So I, I think it's just for fun, I guess, that Ben has aliens that do like weird accents and stuff. Um, but imagine going to a whole planet where like everyone sounds like a pro wrestler. Because that's the implication that they start setting up with these, like, aliens that have odd accents and stuff. I will say, for the most part, a lot of the aliens just sound like a normal person, for the most part. Like, it's just, like, a different voice. Let's see. Isaiah said, I'll catch your stream when I get home. About to get drive drive safe, son, from the future. Ooh. I'll throw hands at you later tonight. Uh, Luna said, why was Wrath, like, self-aware? Um, what do you mean by why was he self-aware? He talked in the third person a lot. I don't know what that means as self-aware. Oh, yeah. Jaden Davis said hi. Yo, Jaden Davis, welcome to the stream. It's good to have you. How's your day today? Do you have any questions for your boy? Do you have any discussion topics you like to talk about on the stream? Uh, recently, I got a new subscriber who has a YouTube channel that has like 6,000 plus subscribers. Um, I actually have like two new subscribers who have like 6,000 plus subscribers. But one of them reached out to me. And he was like, yo, you're like the AI Dungeon 2 master. He's like, I subscribed recently so I can learn how to like write better. And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I don't think I've heard anyone else say that. And then he's like, I might join the Discord soon. Keep up the good work. Uh, and I hit him up today and I was like, can I get a shout out? Uh, I don't think I've ever been visited by someone with like such a big platform who then told me that I'm the good. It was like, actually, Maybe I could be with your help. Like, like, tell the niggas. Y'all ready for this? Luna said he was like Ghost Freak. What? Is that true? Was Rat was Rat like Ghost Freak, where he like knew he was in the Omnitrix? Uh, and then Luna said he didn't act like Ben. Mm, I'm not sure if that's the same thing as being self-aware. Because I mean, Big Chill straight up took over like Ben's body for a little bit uh, when uh, she was preggers. Yeah. But I wouldn't say that she was self-aware. It was more like an instinctual thing. Uh, Jaden Davis said, I like Benton. Who doesn't like Benton? Benton's a fucking goat. Um, speaking of Benton, one oh fuck me. <laughs> Hashtag GG, hashtag good game, hashtag handshake. Um, if you make a shot right at like the last possible second, uh, everyone who's on the sidelines rushes the court and it's always really Really? Hard. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Agree. Lee ain't doing so good. I believe in Lee. <laughs> um, but- I got five yeah. blocks. Ooh. Lee's I still don't know how to feel. Now, one thing that's really good about Lee, Kaylee, is that my character, I think, is too small to stop someone who dunks. I think if you tried to dunk the ball every time, 
I'd have to stop you before you got to the rim. Because remember last game, every time you dunked and I tried to get in your way, I would like literally eat shit. Like it, I would just be swung <laughs> to the ground or whatever. I think it's True. a thing where only big characters can block big characters from dunking. Whoa. Um, Interesting. Luna said, and why do aliens in the Omnitrix become their own beings? He said that was weird to me. Okay, I'll set the record straight on that. Uh, Ghost Freak, the way that his sample was collected was really weird, because he's a ghost. So instead of them- oh, are you sticking with Lee to Lee Lee? Yeah. Okay, baller. So the reason why Ghost Freak uh, was self-aware in the Omnitrix is because he essentially got ghost busted into the Omnitrix. Um, so it was literally like the watch was possessed by a spirit. Other aliens in the Omnitrix are not self-aware, and they do not become their own beings. The only other time that happens is in Benton Ultimate Alien, but that's due to how Albedo designed the Ultimatrix, uh, where he essentially straight up did have them living inside of the Omnitrix for like no fucking reason. Um, and it's something that was just Albedo's fault. Fuck Albedo, I guess is the moral of the story. Y'all ready for this? Um, oh, speaking of Ben 10, uh, Ink Tank dropped a video like yesterday or the day before or some shit, where he said that he reviewed and ranked every episode of Ben 10, and the video was only like 30 something minutes, so I'm very interested in seeing what he ranked as being like the best episode. Because I would say, episode number one, in my opinion, uh, you can fight me on this, is Universe versus Tennyson. That's such a fucking cool concept. Um, essentially, the universe sues Ben 10 because he, like, recreated the universe. And they're like, if we win the lawsuit, the entire universe gets destroyed. But it's the idea of, like, no one should have the right to just, like, reboot reality. Kind of thing. And also, it has, like, the best, like, anime-style Ben 10 fight ever. Uh, cause you just get to see two gods, like literal gods, fight for the fate of the universe and using all these fucking crazy powers. And it's the first time we see Ben with like full god power go all out. Really good. Really good. And it's really the only time we see him like go hard like that. Ooh! Let's see. Uh, Jaden Davis said, what if someone made Ben 10 cards? I almost guarantee you on Dueling Books someone has made Ben 10 cards. Um, I'm curious how that archetype would work. Would you have to control like a face up like Ben 10 and then with the fusion spell card be um, like, ooh, like the Omnitrix and then you fuse into the aliens? Would it be like an equip spell card that you can equip to Ben that then allows you to special summon like the aliens? Um, like how do you make Ben 10 work? Ooh, fuck. Okay. Got him. I, I see you're going for the dump strap. Makes sense. Don't worry, I'm gonna try and work around it. Oh no. Luna said, what are your thoughts on Gravitac? So Gravitac is interesting conceptually. He's an alien that is a planet, but I feel like they could have gone farther with it. Like, I would have loved it if Gravitac had, like, beings on him. Like, if he had, like, a small civilization that lived on him, that he could communicate with and maybe, like, ask to help him uh, in, like, certain situations. I know that sounds odd, but I feel like it's interesting to have a character who's a planet but he's not a populated planet. Because I was like, what's the fucking difference between him being a planet and him just being like a rock at that point? You know what I mean? Let's see. Um, now, is anyone else here salty that they didn't continue fucking, uh, Benton Omniverse? Ooh, Tiger. Luna said we need ultimate armadillo. Real quick, I'm just gonna say, no, we fucking don't. Also, what the fuck? I've never seen a slow motion like slap before. That was really interesting. I think it's because the time was going down. Ah, that makes sense. Um, 
Jaden Davis said, I like Cannonball. Ooh. So I noticed you said good choice, Kaylee. I'm confused by that one because Wait. you can't see what the other person chooses. I thought I said good job. Did I choose? Is there Does a good job? Good job? <laughs> I could have read it wrong, potentially. Ooh. He knows whatever choice you make, it's a good choice. Ooh, psychic lead. She's doing the spin around thing. <laughs> you ain't slick, Kaylee. You, you may be a little slick, Kaylee. It's because it's rain. Everybody's <laughs> slick when it's rain. Also, after this, I want to try one where we're on the same team and see how that goes. Ooh, nice. If we can you're down. Try that out. Uh, nice. Let's see, Jaden Davis said, I like Cannonball. So, Cannonball is weird. Uh, a lot of times, Ben will turn into an alien, and he can just kind of do whatever the alien can do. Like, it's not like a struggle for him to use it. But Cannonbolt, oddly enough, was like one of the first Ben 10 aliens, where Ben transformed into the alien. And he's like, what the fuck does he do? He's just like completely confused. He has no idea that he's supposed to like roll into a ball or whatever. And I guess I find that kind of interesting, but also very underwhelming. You spend like a whole fucking I I just said alien. You spend like a whole fucking episode where Ben just doesn't know how to control Cannonball. And then once he finally learns what he's supposed to do, he just rolls around. Really kinda lame. Not gonna lie. What's it going now? That's a block. Going for a jump shot. That's a nice block. Oh my god. My boy went to Smack University. <laughs> that D's looking a bit red. Y'all need to make a hit right now. They switch into the D. Hey, Kaylee. Hey, Kaylee. Huh? What's up? Hey, Kaylee. What's up? Hey, yeah! <laughs> Fuck. Y'all ready? Okay. <laughs> what were you saying, huh? <laughs> I was saying. That was the first part. The second part is. Hey! That was a good shot. I appreciate the props. What? 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 Yo, ooh. Ooh. What? Ooh, I got some it. elevation on that one. It's like, we went to the same school. <laughs> you may have went to Smacks University, but I graduated valedictorian. Ah, shit. Ooh. Fuck. <laughs> Hashtag GG, hashtag good game, hashtag handshake. <laughs> Solid game, Kalei Lulu. Uh, Nani said, did she get dunked on? Technically, it's impossible for me to dunk on Kaylee because the character that I'm playing as is too short to dunk in the game. I got 11 blocks. Ooh. See, you you graduated with honors from uh, <laughs> That's my University. record. Got a master's degree, doctorate. <laughs> uh, Luna said, why not? Uh, Luna said, I would fucking... Oh, wait, he said, I would be fucking confused if I turned into a roly-poly. <sighs> yeah, but Ben turns into so many other aliens. Oh, let me add Kaylee to my side. Okay, there we go. There. Now we're on the same team. Uh, All right. You want to play as Lee Lulu Lulu? Yeah, I like Lee. Okay. Uh, oh wait. Hold on. I think we actually have to exit this mode and go to three on three mode, normal oh. three versus three match, and then I invite you into the three on three match, and then we're on the same side. All right. Give Give me one second. I'm gonna open. My bonus thing. Oh, okay. Ball. Excuse me. Let me know when you're ready to receive this invite. And boom. 
Um, so Ben turns into aliens that can, like, manipulate their mustache hair into fists, and aliens who, like, can use their additional senses to perceive the world without eyesight, and aliens that can, like, flap wings on their back and shit. If you can do all that fairly easily, why is rolling into a ball so fucking hard? You know? I'd be more confused on how you, like, stretch your arms or something. Like, for a character that has stretchy powers, do you just stretch normally but it keeps going? How do you pull the shit back? Humans don't have a thing that just retracts your arm back in. You, like, I don't understand how certain things work mechanically that he can automatically understand. But for Cannonball, he couldn't just know to roll on his hard ass back. All right, I am. Ooh, uh, wait. she's ready, 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 ready. Uh, did you receive the invoice? Yeah. Ooh, boy, boy, boy. Let's hop into some. Oh, I guess before we hop into some three on three. Oh, the fuck? That's interesting. I, I just realized if you hit up and down on the D-pad, you can change, like, your position and stuff. And if you do, then it, like, changes to characters of that position stuff. Okay, so I'm ready with Cindy. I'm gonna hit try X. Carolina. Ooh. Her name is also a stamp. Both our names start with C. We're the C girls. Ooh. Cece. And William! I don't know why he's first. Oh, we have Lee. Oh, wait, that's a person. Clark. Yeah, it is a person. Uh, we're facing off against all people. Oh, I thought it was bots. Okay, okay. Ooh, let's see how this goes. Oh, Carolina looks tall. Oh my god, Big Joe is scary. I don't think I've ever seen Big Joe before. He has a cute cat. Luna said, I wonder what Clockwork and Alien X mixed together would look like and how powerful it would be. What the fuck? Are we playing <laughs> basketball in like another dimension? Where are we? Y'all ready? Let's see if Carolina good at blocking. Why jumping before the ball comes in? There's the, oh. I was like, who has the ball? Ooh, what? I got the ball. Oh, 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 you got the ball. What? Oh, fuck. I missed such an easy what? setup. Oh. Okay. What? Why is he beating me? <laughs> yeah, they have a thing where they can, like, shit on you, uh, post thing. I haven't learned how to do that, but I've seen that online. I don't know how to play with other people. Oh my god, this is... Chaotic, yeah. Oh my god. Y'all ready for this? I don't. Okay. I'll block this dude. Yeah, you got this. Yeah. Uh-uh. I went to block school. Oh, I didn't go to block school. Oh my god. <laughs> Kaylee's like, what's happening? <laughs> Dunkin' on us. Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts. Oh my god. That one nigga always starts with the ball, because he's like the captain or whatever, and then he doesn't pass. He shoots when he's blocked by like three niggas. Ooh, I'm starting with the ball now, and he's begging for the pass. Nigga, no, not after what you've done. We gotta get points on the board. You gotta be a team player, Redshirt. He said, good try. I'm watching. Oh, oh! He double kicked us both. I'm, I'm um, following this girl. Clockwork combined with Alien X would just look like clockwork with like stars on his body and shit. Oh. Ooh. Okay, wow, we're down this, by is, this is a. This is a embarrassing. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> This is why I didn't bring Lee. I knew Lee would be so ashamed. He'd be overpowered. 
Rebound. Oh, solid pass right there. Good job. No question Ooh. about that. Okay. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Go. Wow. They playing their heart. Oh, hey. There we go. Hey, that was good. Y'all ready for this? Go. Racking up those assists. Wait, that's how we oh, do it. Is that a spray can to look at Go! Okay. Oh, he has the ball. Hey, there you go. That was a good dunk. Y'all ready for this? Good job! Go! Racking up those assists. Oh, dang it. Oh, blood rebound! Over here. You see that steal? Got Ooh. him covered. Okay. Keep racking up those assists. Oh, oh, we Man, we're we're the leaving outside. them open. You ready? Go from down. What the fuck? <laughs> Who do you think you are, Jesus? Oh. Uh, she can shoot from the outside really well. Okay, so on oh, defense, mean? I'm gonna try to block Kim, because Kim's getting this all fucked up. Hey. Oh, nice, Kaylee. Kaylee's like, I too can shoot from the outside. So I'm gonna be on Kim's ass. Fuck Kim. Oh. Oh, stop that. <laughs> Kim pushed me in Say my Say no team. sleepover. A sleepover. Get the pillow fight action going. Watch him not pass with zero seconds on the clock and miss Aww. the shot. Come on, my dude. That's it. I'm freaking out, Lee. Uh, Luna said you're in the ether. Jaden Davis said I like arch fiends. Uh, Godzilla said the game might be the man uh, if it had a breathing mechanic where if you don't breathe, you die. The man. Hmm. I feel like the man sometimes, but how does the game ready? feel like the man? <gasps> Jimmy. Jimmy, you wouldn't become a traitor like this, would you? Is this a you? fucking Kitsune? Nice is, they got fucking Naruto characters in this bitch. Ready? Oh, what? I'm open. Yeah, you see that bitch's ass? I'm open. I'm open. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> While she's like in the outside. I'm getting Jimmy. Uh -uh. Oh. 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 What? <laughs> We're making some progress. Did I just see that? Check. Give me an alley oop. I'm ready to dunk. You see that? They full of solid Not push into the what? Oh. Damn. Others' connection is unstable. Oh, it's me. Oh. I'm open. Trying a jump shot. No. We. Keep racking up those assists. Solid pass right there. Oh my God. Let's see. Luna said, to be honest, Jet's powers are so inconsistent. He said, like, what in the fuck? Eternal fire, uh, void ice, uh, fucking portals. Yeah, but you get to see over the course of the series how he gets all those abilities. You know? Like, it's not like it's unearned or whatever. Ooh, fuck. Uh, my apologies. I did go for a shot when I, like, really shouldn't. Like, I should have passed last game. Well, not last game, last match or whatever. Chrissy over here. Ooh, asking for the ball. Now she's just running. She's covered on by niggas. She might want to pass it. Don't shoot it from there. Who the fuck does he think they are? They always do that shit. John Mason will try to do shit like that too. That's just not how basketball works. You can't shoot from the crowd. Oh my god. Jump shot, nothing's getting through. Okay, now I'll be honest, I thought I was clear at that point. Uh, but Kisune was ready with the hunt. Hey! Their pass system's pretty good. 
they, no they got some good passes going on. All pass to whoever's open. Like somebody get near the hoop. I'm ready to jump. Nice pass. Over here. Hey, yo, oh. Ooh. No. Wait, we gotta we gotta like cover too. We gotta we leave them open. Oh, solid pass back in the <laughs> Um the issue is knowing like who to cover, I guess. Okay, Kaylee, get I'm by open. the gold, because I, I trust you a lot more than I trust uh, other niggas. I'm open. Oh, big block. Ooh. Let's take it slow. Okay, I'll, I'll I'm going to try and cover the Kitsune. Up oh, the Kitsune passed. I'm going to try to cover Jimmy's one else. <laughs> uh, Luna said All right, it's so I got jumpy. Jimmy. Okay, you got Jimmy. Oh, fuck, we got eight seconds left. What's it going to be? Hey! Hey! Y'all ready? Alright, I got Jimmy. Go! Okay, uh, I'll block the key soon. Oh. Oh. 50 so points. Uh, okay. hashtag GG, hashtag good game, hashtag handshake. Lee and the Sydney twins. So the Kitsune was the MVP? She caught the rebound of your shot. Ah, oh, I see. Oh. That was a curve. MVP. 50. <laughs> Man, two different people on the team averaged, uh, like, 19 points. Oh, it's like 6.30. I didn't realize what time it was. Kalei Um, I gotta go. Um, All right, did you have a I fun have time, Kaylee? Yeah. Ball. Um, we should definitely practice more with the three on three stuff because i'll be honest i haven't done a lot of the three on three stuff either um it'd be cool if we could get kratos or john mason to hop mm. onto our set like onto our squad so i was about to say we should find a third other. person yeah yeah but thank you for hanging out again Kate. do you have any uh announcements that you want to make uh like anything that you want to promote anything that you're working on that you feel like people should check out all i have to say is we He's gonna come back with some revenge. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Prepare for the return of Lee. Uh, Luna said it's so jumbled. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed the last thing you said, Kaleem. Oh, I didn't say. I was drinking water, though. Oh, okay. That's uh, probably what you were <laughs> Godzilla said, I've been playing Fallout New Vegas, and I gotta say, I think I found a new comfort game. Hey, I'm glad that you vibe with it. Luna said, I'm just saying the powers don't match up. Yeah, just Starlight's not really thematic. He, he more or less just learns what he can learn and works with it. But I do have to dip for now. Uh, I still need to exercise and eat before I play with uh, Isaiah. Thank you all for tuning in. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button. Favorite, comment, subscribe, and ding, 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 ring the notification bell. You know if I'm new to these videos. This is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black, one only here with... Kaylee. Kaylee Creator, logging out. Make sure you check out her channel if you want to check out some of her short film content. Peace, guys. And thank you again, Kaylee, for playing with me. I truly appreciate it. No problem. Chicken Bow Wow.